I've been running every single day for 12 days so far. Four miles every single day. That puts me at 48 miles today on Thursday. And I'm gonna tell you this right now, it is amazing. I love it. And the thing with the legs, you recover faster with the legs. You actually recover faster because it's the biggest muscle of the body. You're always on your feet. We're meant to be runners, especially if your nutrition's on point. I'm gonna share with you exactly what I've been eating throughout these almost two weeks. I actually just got done right now with my four miles. So like I said, exactly 48 miles every single day, even on the weekend. <laughs> and I th and uh, the thing with this is that you end up getting used to it. You end up making it part or part of your life, like your lifestyle. And it, it feels good because you get more energy. You get more energy, you get better cardio, your heart's strong. Uh, you'll know if you don't have good cardio when you start to run and you're, you start to be huffing and puffing too quickly, that means you have a, a low VO2 max. You gotta hit, be able to utilize your whole VO2 max. And I've been running for a long time now. I've been running for years now. And uh, I was never really a runner. I was never really like uh, a big fan of running. I, I didn't really see the importance to tell you the truth. <laughs> I didn't see the importance, but I was just ignorant. I was just ignorant of the importance of running. You know, I always tell my boot camp members, because we do personal training, we do online coaching, personal, I mean, a boot camp and open gym. And all my, my clients, my members, I tell them, uh, cardio is principality because cardio will strengthen the most important muscle of the body, which is the heart. It's actually pretty beautiful out here. The weather is like perfect after rain and all that. And uh, we're heading home right now. We're finishing up and heading home. Obviously, I'm usually done with my whole workout at 12.30. And uh, my first meal is at around 2 p.m. It's because I'll be fasting all the way till 2 p.m. Like, check this, check out this scenery back here. Check this out. So talking about eating, so I'm consuming around 1,700 calories a day. 1,700 calories, throughout those calories, I'm consuming around 150 grams of protein. You have to know the right amount of protein for yourself as well. A lot of, a lot of us are eating way too little protein and that's why we, a lot of times we overeat and we don't recover, we don't repair, we don't heal, we don't build and stuff like that because of the branching amino acids. That's what, that's what helps you recover. So a lot of people also deal with a lot of soreness because of that, because they don't have the branching amino acids. So yeah, 1700 calories and 150 grams of protein through those calories. Yeah, so 1,700 and 150 grams of protein. I eat uh, just beef, lean chicken, and salmon. Eggs, the, those are all my protein sources. I'm not consuming a protein shake uh, currently, but sometimes I will, it's been a while. But that's it, in relation to protein, that is it. Uh, beef, chicken, lean chicken, and salmon. That is it. Eggs. I used to add a little bit of egg whites, but I'm just consuming just two eggs because I reduced my calories. Um, and then a lot of vegetables, as, mu as many vegetables as you want, especially cruci cruciferous vegetables. Cruciferous vegetables are gonna be like Brussels sprouts, asparagus, something very dense in uh, vitamins and minerals. 
bell pepper or uh, celery, cucumber, they're not as dense as a cruciferous vegetable. They still have good vitamins, minerals, uh, electrolytes and stuff like that, but when it comes down to cruciferous, that's why you can't eat a lot of cruciferous. They're, they're, uh, they're more dense, they are more solid, so on and so on. Less water, less water than like, a, like lettuce or something like that. So a lot of vegetables, some fruit, two pieces of fruit, and whole grain tortillas. Let's get going. And also, all, all that is, is measured. Everything is measured. Uh, I can eye it. I, once you start to measure, like the first couple of weeks, you're following a meal plan, you start measuring. You, you don't always need to measure. Once you kind of, you can eye it, you can eye the, your portion. You don't really have to measure as much. And now you kind of know, just practice it. And uh, you know, do it for a couple of weeks, do it for a couple of weeks, get off of it, and then get back on. You know, but just don't get on and off every every other day or something like that or if you want to see super good results when you follow a meal plan at least two weeks at least two weeks straight man it is awesome either that or elevate your workout and uh, you'll get some pretty awesome results depending on what kind of results you want if you need help with any of that anything on fitness nutrition training discipline and you're just looking for motivation i got you so with that said, give me, do me a favor and share this video with somebody that can benefit from this information. Maybe I can motivate them. Send it to somebody and uh, hit the like button. If you're new here, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, be safe, mind, body and strive.